first tee gone down the links. We're going off that bunker on the left. Bit of cut, chase it down there. That sounds so easy, doesn't it? Oh, hello. Bit of cut off the left, and that's right down the middle. That's a nice start of the day, Dundonald Links. Let's see what's let's see what's happening here. I haven't been here for a couple of years and I'm looking forward to this. Second hole is an absolute beauty. Dog leg, left to right, a couple of bunkers you can see, framed, absolute stunning. Can we get another ball going down there? Oh, come on hand. Out the car park, off the blocks here. Don't go into that second bunker. It's gone into that second bunker. Great bit of course design. You, you don't want to go tight to the right, or you haven't got the confidence to go tight to the right. So you keep on this left hand side, and then you've got this little bunker that obviously gathers off the camber. And again, as much as I don't like being in here, uh, you've got to understand how the course has been put together. So I'm afraid, driver to 60 degree wedge. I'm afraid. That's a shot gone. I just played an iron in, it we're on the second hole, and I already remember one of the key features of this course and how difficult it can be. Pitched up on the top, looked okay, pin iron, and it just starts to gather, and you see it to disappear down these banks, and then all of a sudden you've got a real tough shot now to try and get this up the hill and uh, somewhere near that flag. Look at that, you know, that's not a bad effort. Go on, ball. Go on, ball. Oh, hello. Touch of Seve there because uh, that was a tough old shot. I played it with an eight iron up the hill and uh, I'll take that any day of the week. You think you're close to the flag and then you come in and it's like, oh, I don't know, 25 foot away and this is no easy two put. Up the hill and then rolling away. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Greens are pure and, and fast as well. So you... Happy with that two put from there, he says. Yeah, take that. Still smiling. Greens are so good and so quick. Dundonald displays maturity beyond its age. A lower course was laid in 1911. Following World War II, the landscape had laid dormant until 2003 when Kyle Phillips brought this course back to life. Well, I think we've got a gorgeous day for it. Uh, we're enjoying the golf, but there's a lot going on in 21 in terms of some other things, exciting things on the course. Ab absolutely, it's one of the most exciting years in Dundonald's history, to be honest. It's, uh, you know, the course opened in 2003, but we're just about to have um, 25 million pounds spent on the complex. Um, and develop a clubhouse and accommodation on site and right. uh, and improvements to the golf course itself. So when you say accommodation, is it hotel or lodges or what's the kind of? Yeah, well we've got uh, we've got 18 lodges and uh, 22 rooms that'll be very close to the clubhouse. So nice. So you're really close to yeah, yeah. to where all the action is and lovely. Um, so yeah, we're really excited about it. And quite, when do you expect that to be sort of? Uh, is there is there, a, is there an opening? Yeah. Well, date as yet? Yeah. Well. Well, we haven't got a specific date, but we'll be open mid to end of September uh, next year. Perfect. Uh, project hasn't been um, completely confirmed yet in terms of time scales, but we're not far that, away. From that's that that's the target. Yeah, yeah. So we need so we need to get a tea time book for uh, September 2021. I think, I think you will. Yeah. Perfect. I think you will. We'll come back then. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. Leaves a bit in it. Greens are, I don't know, amongst the certainly pretty close to the fastest greens I've played this year. And yeah, you can't uh, you can't be too bold. I can tell you because 
It's soon race on by and that's a twitchy one, to say the least. The changes in elevation, both fairway and green, are very much a feature throughout a greatly varied 18 holes of golf. Right, made our way to 13. That was a great hole, just played there 12. Absolutely love that. But the minute I see the uh, railway line running parallel, then you've got that sort of, uh, it's a must on any links. We've got the water over the other side. We've got the, uh, I think that's the Isle of Arran in the distance. And it's, uh, it's well, it's nice, really nice. And a great golf hole, like I said, running parallel uh, with the railway down the left. 370 stroke nine. There's not a lot of room. Rolling fairways. Need a three iron going down the middle. I say that with a grin on my face. And that's why I'm grinning. Oh, not another bunker. No. Yeah, another bunker. These bunkers are in all the right places, you know. It depends which way you look at it. Another great piece of course design here on 13. Absolutely love this. So you've got a reasonably, uh, got mid-length iron to say the least. Uh, and you want to get to that front flag. And there's a burn that you can see now literally i don't know it's probably 15 yards short of that pin so that's a tough ask so what you do the average golfer will do is take a longer club and make sure you carry the burn and then you go long and you end up here and you've got an absolute nightmare to put from the back here and that's the kind of thing that i love about this design it's so well designed the course let's just see how i get on with this first of all roll down a bit well that's a good effort i'd take that any day of the week but the point is, yet again, this Kyle Phillips design, it's so clever. It keeps asking questions of you all the time and playing tricks with your mind. And what you were, the, the shot you might want to play is not the one you end up playing. Clean there. Sit. Sit ball. for that pin in your bowl but we're going for that pin is enough club don't be short otherwise a big bunker awaits oh it's short yet yeah, Cabero Bayo hit it to uh, what was it eight foot from 275 yards that ain't gonna be my finish but in terms of Dundonald links it was uh, it was in fantastic condition greens were superb it's a tough old track and it uh, asks questions of your game. I've mentioned about the, the quality of the design, which I think is fantastic. I've played one other course of Kyle Phillips, which was um, Yaz Lynx over in Abu Dhabi. And it's got similarities. It's, the climate's a bit different, but there's definitely similarities in the design. Uh, and I really like him as a designer, a course designer. Um, but yeah, as you've already heard, there's going to be some interesting changes in the next uh, 18 months or so. So it'll be interested to see how Dundonald transforms, how it matures, but uh, it feels like it's been here for years already, and I think it's only going to get better. A fantastic golf course, really was.